So I haven't done just a straight up pickups video in a long time. But I went by replays today and I found some stuff I just couldn't pass up. It's not a very big collection, it's just three games, but they're three very important games, at least to me. Um, one of my new subscribers, uh, Mr. Zombie Killin', there's your shout out, I was talking to him the other day about games and he said, oh, I'm going to go look for some games, let me know if there's any you want me to look for. And I told him about one specific game and lo and behold, Replays had it. It's a situation is where Replays usually can read my mind. If there's a game I'm looking for, they usually have it. Like, they had a copy of Nano Breaker, which is a game I'd like to get my hands on. And they had two copies. The only problem was that one copy of the case was beat up and had no booklet, and the other copy of the case was fine, but the booklet was torn to shreds, and I didn't fucking want it. So if any of you guys find a copy of Nano Breaker that's in good condition, let me know. But the games I found, I seriously saw them both sitting right next to each other, and I thought, one of these games is one of the first three PlayStation 1 games I ever had. You guys who have been with my channel for a long time know this story. Pretty much it goes, Ape Escape was my first PlayStation 1 game. Legend of Dragon was my first PlayStation 1 RPG. This game right here was my first PlayStation 1 third-person shooter. And I know that there's a lot of elitist gamers out there that have a real issue with third-person shooters. I'm not one of them. I like third-person shooters. There's nothing wrong with it. Every time that you have a third-person shooter, these elitist gamers have to come up with the fact that come up with the opinion that it's like Call of Duty and yeah okay it's got guns and it's got grenades but it's nothing like Call of Duty and for the fact there's nothing wrong with Call of Duty either it's just really derivative at this point when it first came out and back in the day it was awesome but yeah I know a lot of you are probably wondering Brett what game are you talking about what was your first PlayStation 1 third person shooter and it's a great game if you haven't played this game it's butt ass ugly by today's standards but it's a fun ass game and I highly recommend it and that is Siphon filter. I found it complete. Case, booklet, everything. And y'all won't believe the price tag on this. I'm, I'm surprised because Replays usually does like... They don't usually go below $5. But I got this game for 3 bucks. I know the camera's being really, really glitchy. Eh. Calm down, camera. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Uh, there's nothing I can do with it. Calm down, camera. Sorry. It's going to be glitchy now because I showed that. I apologize. I, I'm in the process of getting a new webcam. You guys give me some time. They're kind of expensive. Um, anybody has any recommendations for a good quality webcam or camera that isn't going to be like more than $60 and is going to have good quality? Let me know. But the second game I saw right next to Siphon Filter was, in fact, the sequel, Siphon Filter 2. And I was like, fuck it, i got to have it. This one was... Six dollars. So I've got Siphon Filter 1 and 2, and I'm very happy about that. So, uh, Mr. Zombie Killing, if you're watching, which I know you are because you watch all my videos, uh, I got Siphon Filter. Alright, the next uh, game, the last game. Uh, my friend, Kurikazu the Warrior, Victor, is going to be really happy to see this, I'm sure. I'll probably send him a video so he can see it. But uh, I've, been, I've been trying to find this game for a while. Now, for, for information, I used to hate these games way back when I played them. I didn't understand them. I didn't get their charm. They're part of one of my favorite series. But uh, when I finally got a copy of the first one, I was looking for the second one. My buddy Victor had it. He would not sell it to me. Another one of my friends had it. She would not sell it to me. And I finally found a copy of it. I was just looking, and I was like, oh, there it is. Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. And I know the camera's still probably really glitchy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but for me, it's glitchy as fuck. But yeah, I got it. Complete. And what's really cool is replays, they have store credit, but they're not like um, GameStop. They don't have uh, they don't have me in a, a system or on a register. I still have, if you guys can see that, $21 in store credit. So, ah, the camera fixed. So as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm going to go back down there and I'm going to get some more games. Yes, I did not. I, I had store credit and I did not spend the rest of it. The problem is Replays has changed their policy. A lot of you are probably going to call bullshit on this like I did. And I'm telling you, Replays didn't used to do this. I could go in there with zero dollars, like go in there with some games, get some store credit and come out with more games without ever having cash in my pocket. And the camera glitched again. Uh, Replays has a new policy where the store credit will cover the cost of the game, but it will not cover the tax. And I'm like, what? 
you're gonna charge me tax? So I had I had no money on me. I had to run back out to the car and get like a dollar and ninety eight cents in change to pay for my tax. But yeah, the only reason I didn't spend more was because number one, I had no money on me, and number two, uh, I didn't really see a whole lot of what I wanted in there. They did have a copy of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which I still need to get a copy of, but it was thirty nine dollars, and I didn't have enough store credit, so I didn't pick it up. But yeah, I, I'm very happy because now I have. Uh, uh, they would not, they would not buy this CD. I would take over there. They don't do CDs anymore for some reason. I'm very happy to have Siphon Filter One and Two, and finally Resident Evil Outbreak File Two. I'm gonna do what I usually do: test them, make sure they work, and then they're gonna go on the shelf and collect dust because I am a collector. I'm ridiculous. I will literally buy games and never play them. I'm I'm crazy like that. What games? What have I bought? What have I bought that I haven't even played yet? What have I bought that I have not? played beautiful joe one and two let me tell you guys a funny story i bought both beautiful joes for the gamecube never actually played them i did not even touch them and then a while back around christmas i sent them both off to daniel because he wanted to increase his gamecube collection so i sent them off and I, I didn't care and then like a few months later i'm like i miss beautiful joe but i never played it so i go and i buy both of them again on the playstation 2 and and they're sitting there, I can see them, they're right next to Maximo, and I haven't played them at all. I'm fucking ridiculous. Anywho, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, anybody else got any pickups? I know uh, my new subscriber, Zombie Killing, is going to be doing a pickups video. Uh, there's your like, fourth, fifth shout out. Anywho, hope you've enjoyed. I love games. I look forward to uh, getting some more games in the future. I look forward to the uh, Dead Space 3. For those of you who are wondering, yes. I'm going to be doing a Dead Space 3 Let's Play. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to do it. I'm thinking I will record all of it, because God knows I can't record and edit at the same time, and I'm not going to want to stop playing. I'm going to record all of it, and then upload it slowly for you. Uh, I don't know if the camera's still glitchy. It still looks glitchy, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I apologize, as always, for the poor camera quality. It's this room. It's the lighting in this room. Videos look really good in the morning, but when it gets like past... Uh, When it gets past 12, they look like shit. I don't know why. But, um, thank you for watching. Take care.